Blessings and kombucha upon the sacred healing roast of a nation. It's me, your namaste. Deepest gratitude for allowing me to come here tonight and be your traditional healer and cleanse the space before we purge ourselves of our trauma as South Africans. Before we begin, I'd just like to address the elephant in the sweat lodge. My skin color. I know many of you are used to having a traditional healer of a more chocolatey hue, but unfortunately, due to budgetary constraints and the fact that most traditional healers are fully booked at the moment, as political parties desperately try and resurrect the corpse of their body politic in time for elections. I am all the producers could get at such short notice. Forgive my timid pale flesh and my rigid pink nipples. I promise I will try not to invoke any of my own ancestors as they tend to be racist colonial cadavers which is never great for the vibe. There are many damaged auras here tonight by virtue of the fact that you are South African. So let me do some general blessings to lay a foundation before the heavy lifting to come. So blessings and kombucha upon your recent ascension to a higher vibration via a three-day online course. Blessings. Blessings and kombucha upon your vegan-based moral superiority. Blessings. Blessings and kombucha upon your ethically non-monogamous small-scale marijuana enterprise. Blessings. And finally, blessings and kombucha upon Faf de Klerk's underpants. Blessings. The foundation is laid. All right, I think it's time to get to the healing. As you well know, if you want to heal, you first need to be traumatized. <laughs> Please take this. Thank you for your testicle-shaped head. Through the ancient comedic cathartic ritual ceremony, we will be purging you of your national trauma and setting you on the path towards the kind of enlightenment that will allow even you to start your very own off the grid community outsourced sex cult. But for, before we get to that, let's just set the pH of the group with some passive aggressive breathing exercises. I want you to release the breath passively on an exhale through the mouth and then inhale aggressively through the nose. Think Musi Maimani, exhale, Julius Malema, inhale. Let's try it together as a group. Passive exhale. Inhale, aggressive. <laughs> Passive, aggressive. Very good, I couldn't help but notice that some of you are slightly more passive-aggressive than others. And that's gonna be a problem for the group. I will now need to expunge that aggression through a trauma body release sound bath. And unfortunately, in order to do that, I will need to divide the audience into those of you 
who will identify as one of those inflatable balloon men that flop around on the side of the highway, which is everyone on the side of the room. And those of you who will identify as Nkandla, and its latent sexual tension at full capacity, which is everyone on this side of the room. Those of you identifying as Nkandla, I want you to make this noise. Very good. Let's add the movement that represents the sexual tension. You know what I'm talking about. You're white knuckling your way through life, I can see it. Don't worry, I will give you something to do with your hands. It's very simple, it goes like this. Oh, everybody in Kandla. Oh, oh, perfect. Hold that energy right there. Those of you identifying as the floaty balloon men, I want you to make this noise. Let's add the movement of the floaty balloon men. Perfect! Remember, a group climax should be fun, but also messy. So I really want you to build your intensity to a primal frenzy. And remember, this is how the show starts. So don't fuck it up. <laughs> Especially you two. <laughs> all right? Give it your all. Whatever's left in those testicles. <laughs> Let's go. Remember the movements. Remember the energy. Let's go. This is how the show starts. And... Zoom.
God. Hello, green and red, with the most, Mr. Chester Missy! What's up, bitches? South Africans, let me hear you! I'm so excited. Look at the shit they're letting me do. This is ridiculous. I'm in a box made out of fucking grass. I'm like a ducker dealer. Hello? Are there any Zimbabweans here? Zimbabweans, let me hear you! Welcome Zimbabweans, we're glad you're here so you can see how a democracy works. Oh, but it's like gambling, voting in South Africa. You might end up with Action SA. Hey, what a cuck name for a party. Herman Mashaba, what are you thinking? You sound like a dating app for sugar daddies. Mashaba me harder, Mashaba me harder. What is going on, South Africa? South Africa, we're celebrating a democracy, but your host is a white puppet with a white guy's hand in his ass. I'm basically the DA comedy show. I'm kidding, the DA's already a comedy show. Takalani Helen. Guys, our democracy's crazy. 30 years in, our two most famous white South Africans were a lady called Charlie Theron and Oscar Pistorius. Yeah, Oscar was a monster. Charlie's acted in a movie called Monster. And then she won an Oscar. <laughs> yeah. Friends, our democracy is 30 years old now. 30 years old, our democracy's a millennial. No wonder it takes so long to get cuck done. <laughs> Guys, this country is wild. We are meant to have a revolution. We are meant to have a revolution, but the revolution got tricked from us, didn't it, black people? You were tricked by Woolworths. They stole it, you went in and you forgot. That's why Woolworths has Maguinia now. Fucking Maguinia at Woolworths. What's next, gluten-free um Kambati? Black people, you need to fight back. You need to go up to white people in Woolworths and say, do you work here? <laughs> Comrades, this is an election year. It's an election year. Everyone in this room is gonna get screwed. You're all gonna get lucky. Why do you think the ANC turns off the lights? They wanna fuck you. <laughs> Have you seen Ramaphosa when load shedding happens? He always says the same cuck. He stands on the side and turns into Shaggy. Wasn't me. <laughs> Frickin' Ramaphosa is so useless, his own couch stabbed him in the back. Do you understand what I'm saying? He got pala pala by a three-piece. And the EFF, the EFF are socialists. Guys, they are socialists who wear Louis Vuitton. That's like a vegetarian who also eats chicken. <laughs> Julius wants you to call him a commander-in-chief. What the fuck is a commander-in-chief? It sounds like gay porn. <laughs> You're fucking traditional leaders. <laughs> and the DA, my God, the DA can't beat the ANC. Do you know how cuck you have to be to lose to the ANC? <laughs> Even the DA says they're cuck and they still lose. That's like Bloemfontein having a nicer beach than you. <laughs> now, you know what, the DA is like Marmite, isn't it? The DA is like Marmite. Not everyone likes them. Oh no, they're not like Marmite. Because Marmite is black. <laughs> oh, 
That's why they don't complain about all the ministers, because they can't say the frickin' names. Gosienzo Ramachopa. Gondigenko The Minister of Electricity. My friends, we can be proud, can't we? Because as a nation, as a nation, we stood up against the colonizer and we went to the highest court on earth and demanded justice for Palestinians. Amanla. Yeah, the only thing I'm grateful about is those guys in, in The Hague, they didn't, they didn't once, not one of them, blew a fucking vuvuzela. Because that shit is embarrassing. It's the sound of a dying hardy dog. Ah! Ah! That's the sound Steve Hoffmeyer makes during sex. Ah! Allegedly, allegedly. He's like, ah, ah! Well, if he sung this step, I deep blow. Ah! Ah! Fun may him, ah! Ah! Friends, tonight isn't just a show. It's also an award ceremony. And I don't mean like one of those stupid Safter's Sama kiss ass celebrity bullshit awards. This is a real awards. This is a real awards judging the good, the bad, and the ugly. And when I say ugly, I mean Blade and Zimande. Shit's going down, bitches. Strap it. We're gonna rip Nando's apart. Please make some noise for the very greedy Mpop Pops Mudibane. You've seen him on billboards, you've seen him in movies, you've seen him on television. He smells like Zambak and he puts sugar in his mask. Hello! To Milan! Our first category pays homage. I'm honoring Thibaut Touch. What's wrong with you? Our first category pays homage to the many, many things that have tried to kill us over the past 30 years. We are a strong and resilient people. Our strength comes from the people of this country. The Zulus. And the Afrikaners. Helping us deal with many problems, which are mainly Zulus and Afrikaners. Guys, South Africa isn't an easy place. We know that. Kamoke nyaupe, bonang spelling, so easy, just so easy. Listeriosi, see. Guys, remember when Baloney started identifying as AIDS? Remember when Baloney was like, I'm AIDS? A, B, C, A, G, H, R, E. Imagine, you eat the quarter, you must check your CD4 count. That's what was happening! Baloney was killing South Africans left, right, and center. Celebrities were doing campaigns. boy! <laughs> Overnight, Kotas started freelancing as Ngabis in this country. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, that was nothing in comparison to what's coming up in fourth place of the things that tried to kill us. Let the whole world know today, today, all the press, its eyes are on us. It's gone up. It started. Avi Beer. <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Remember them? The South African patriots who loved South Africa but hated black people. How do you love South Africa and hate black people? That's like ordering a burger and going, yeah, w without the lettuce. Yeah, without the meat, without the sauce, without the buns. Munna, what do you want, Kant? And guys, the Avia Beers relaunch was cut short. Literally. Cut short. <laughs> and this happened under some very strange circumstances. Yeah. Of a sexual nature. Guys, do you remember what Eugene did before he died? 
He was having an orgy with black men. Yes, he was. He, he had them lined up like that old Oros advert. Mango. Fruit cocktail. Nache. Nache. This guy. Thai Askis Menier. Eugene was taking a fagale horse pipe way too far. <laughs> but guys, this got me thinking, right? Maybe the right wingers were just misunderstood. Maybe the right wingers were just misunderstood. When the Avia Beer wanted to keep the races apart, it wasn't cause of hatred. They just couldn't concentrate with all that fine black ass walking around. <laughs> When they said fuck black people, they meant it. They really, they meant it. Fruit cocktail. Hamburger, Sebra, Eugene. You chocolate loving racist. And third, runner up in the things that tried to kill us award. HIV. HIV. HIV and AIDS, AIDS. HIV, AIDS, HIV, AIDS, HIV. HIV. AIDS, HIV. 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 HIV cause AIDS. HIV AIDS. Can we all agree this is one motivated virus, Papa? AIDS! This is one of the most focused viruses out there. It does the job. Guys, AIDS was standing in the crowd during Mandela's inaugural speech. It was there taking notes. Yeah, 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 that's right. FIFA! It was there! Even during Mbeki's I'm an African, AIDS was there! <laughs> Chewing a beetroot. Gaza, <laughs> gaza, Ladies and gentlemen, we had a solution for this problem. We were able to develop a new condom which is called Max. And it comes in different flavors. If you want a grape flavor, you can get a grape flavor. Whose idea was it to introduce those flavors? You can see black people were not consulted in the construction of those condoms. Because if it was us, those flavors would be different. We'd have mohodu flavor, acha, beef stew, chicken liver, Norox, those are... Every time your parents come home, they're like, who was praying in my house, eh? <laughs> but it's not just AIDS and white people that have nearly killed us for the past 30 years. There's been another more recent attempt. The South African military has officially hit the ground. These soldiers are on COVID-19 lockdown missions. All South Africans will have to stay at home. Your president, your president, your, your president, got on TV like this, like this, and said, my fellow South Africans, there's a pandemic. We must not worry because we've got a plan. And what was this elaborate plan? We can't go outside. We can't go where? Outside. Outside is closed. How do you close outside? Also, is, is COVID a homeless disease? It lives a while. And to make sure we were not outside, he put the army outside. And if the army caught you, what would they do? Frog jumps. <laughs> and finally, the winner of the thing that tried to kill us award goes to. <laughs> 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 Thousand six hundred ten megawatt problem arising, problem arising, problem arising. Ah, stop! Ah, stop it! Stop it! Stop, guys. Papa Jacob was a lot, but he was our a lot, guys. 
He was our a lot. Do you think you have better now? Do you have better now? Huh? Your president is boring now. What song does your president have now? Huh? Name one Cyril song. I'll wait. Tabi Seng, sing one Cyril song. What dance does Cyril have? Name one dance. How can you dance when you're... How? How? You can't do TikTok challenges. When... He can only... Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the only one. It's not even his. Just look, guys. Look. Look at what. There is a broken president in a broken country. Do you know? Nkanza. Nkanza. My laugh. My laughing is not hateful. It's healthy. <laughs> Come on, guys, give it up for Papa J. How let him shiny warm, shiny warm, shiny warm, shiny warm. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. And now for someone that's going to confuse our parents. Home Affairs refers to him as Banale and Daba. But please like and subscribe for more gallings. Sarbora, 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 Sarbora! The girl it is here. Yeah. Guys, our next award celebrates those South Africans that have absolutely crushed it out on the internet. And at times, South Africans who regret that the internet is actually a real thing. In fourth place, we have... <laughs> My fuck, Marilis. My fuck, Mar... Look, there is nothing else around for hundreds of meters. Guys, what Marilis did there, it was close to a miracle. By now, you guys should be asking for lots of numbers from that girl because uh -huh, she never means. Let me tell you something. Next up, in third place, we have... Maybe you get me on a snook. No, not a snook, it's a mama. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Guys, shout out to this cutie. If, if we are able to have a black little mermaid, why can't we have a colored snook? Guys, next up, next up, I have a line up. Next up, in second place, second place, this one, we have. <laughs> Ah! And guys, moving on. As an honorary member myself, I'd like to give an honorary mention. We have. Tough time never lasts. Tough time never lasts. We have a national animal. We have a national animal. What's our national animal? Springbok. You see? We also have a national flower. What's our national flower? Me, I'm suggesting. Let's have our national word of the day. Tough times never last. <laughs> Only tough people last. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Trust me. And finally, the winner of the South African crushing it on the internet goes to. Whoa, eh? Whoa. I can explain what the video was about. So, I want to see if you guys are going to get it, no? In this video, this gentleman had something in his hand. He has, he has something very precious in his hand. He was so, so precious. 
Very, very precious. And he says something along the words of, Imagine this. If it was in you. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Manusik Gabon's baby. Oh wow, 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 wow. I, I, thank you, thank you. Wow. Imagine this in your mouth. Wow, I was not expecting this. My boss and I were not expecting this. We've been to so many places together. Wow, wow, wow. Some were virtual, some were really there. I have to thank my boss for allowing me to make a public appearance again. He was going to send the dick pic, but I asked to come in person. So. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is so unexpected. I've been to so many places. The tranka, the underpene, we've been to. Tight jeans, formal suits, we've been to so many places. We have to say, this is the biggest hole we've ever been. <laughs> wow, even for my boss. This is a big hole. Thank you. Um, wow, South Africa. My boss couldn't be here. As you all know, they are busy campaigning, uh, you know, door to door. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, wow. Wow, thank you, thank you. Uh, South Africa, my boss did ask me to leave you with a quote from his favorite poet. He said to tell you, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. We're going to be... <laughs> Sorry, a condom broke last night. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. But for someone who's supposed to be based in London, you see him a lot in Bramfontein riding his bicycle. Yeah. Make some noise yeah. for Luis Ogola. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> South Africa, you traumatized motherfuckers. <laughs> My favorite, you know my favorite thing? I don't know if you guys have been watching the news. Isn't Cyril campaigning the most, just the most bizarre, like he's discovering everything. He walks into people's, oh, water, okay. Okay, water, ne? Okay. From the tap, okay. <laughs> this is the whole campaign, okay, job, okay. You work every day, every day, every day, you're working every day. Yeah, motherfucker. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> There's always old people, and there's what the yin, yin, the snake, oh, 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 snake. Seven times, seven times. Farala, see Farala, ah, yeah, I said that. It's weird. So, you know, as a, as a country, you know, we, we, we go through stuff, big stuff, big cock. They was like, ah, no shedding, stage 12, fuck. You know what I mean? And then out of nowhere, they'll just tell us, ah, we're running out of eggs. We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Then you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? No, I'm a kind of pela, I'm a kind of pela. And everyone panics. You're like, you know, who, you know the, the funniest people who just panic. And you're like, you don't even cook, motherfucker. But I'm a kind of pela. I'm a kind of pela. <laughs> South Africa's crazy, bro. It's crazy. South Africa's crazy. It's like, you're minding your own business. Jacob wants to be a president again. You're like, ah, trouble. Then out of nowhere, someone will come in the news and tell us there's a tiger that escaped the zoo. You must be careful. And then out of nowhere, you're watching the news, an Africana bro will come out and say, uh, if you see the tiger, <laughs> uh, please uh, do not panic. I said, my brother, <laughs> if I see a fucking tiger, if there's one thing I will guarantee you, is fucking panic. I will panic. <laughs> 
COVID made us all go crazy. People were like, yeah, they're trying to put 5G in our heads, brother. <laughs> the government is trying to put a 5G chop on your head, brother. I'm like, the same government that can't give you electricity. <laughs> same, are these the same people or is there another department? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Do you know what I mean? These people, and the people who have these conspiracy theories are the most unemployed, unemployable. You have, this has nothing to do with you. Fuck off, this one, nothing. To, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like those people who go, I don't like women who date men for money. They don't want you as well. Those women and those men, they find each other. Leave those people alone. Don't get involved in that thing. That's fucking, what are you talking about? You think the government is going to put a 3G, 5G on your, get the fuck out of here. Then they were the researchers. Remember the researchers. Yeah, I'm going to do my research. I'm not going to touch the vaccine. I'm going to do my research. And you know what? I wanted the people to do research. Go do research. Please, I want you to research. But all I'm saying is, if that was your first research project, <laughs> you could be out of your depth. <laughs> COVID is not the, 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 the research pro you start with. That's... <laughs> <laughs> the pe listen, here's the thing. The people, <laughs> the, pe <laughs> the people in their twenties, they're laughing at these jokes the hardest. You fuck it, cause COVID did fuck all to you guys. Eh? COVID was like a flu to people in their twenties. They just fucking catch COVID back the next day. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then. <laughs> fuck you guys. You guys are the most annoying. I wish COVID had killed more of you, motherfuckers. <laughs> no, fuck these ones. These ones twenty. Fuck you. Fuck you all. Every single word, mental health, mental. He's so toxic. Use another word, use another word. He's toxic. What the fuck does that mean? No, fuck them. These, these ones in their 20s, fuck you guys, fuck you guys, fuck you guys, fuck you. Because me, we went through the struggle, us, struggle, real struggle. When we grew up, guys, TV used to finish. <laughs> Look at them confused. What do you mean? Why don't you just change the channel? Hey, for tech. <laughs> TV is finished. I said, Fini hey, fin hey, it's done. Go sleep. <laughs> TV will commence tomorrow with a prayer. <laughs> 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 yeah, start, TV will start with a prayer. How fucking crazy would that be? Right? <laughs> it's mad, bro. And listen, and you know, you young people, it, you, you have it tough when the people in their 60s who are your age, they could buy houses and shit, you know? They could buy. And now it's tough, you know? But people still tell you to stay in school, and school is shit. I, listen, stay in school. You are not as talented as me, eh? <laughs> yeah? Stay in school, eh? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> no, but, because I used to hate, I used to hate school. Dog. I used to hate school so much, I used to bunk school. I started bunking school at 10, dog. Dog, the first time I bunked school, I was stupid, because remember in the morning, cartoons used to play. Then I'd leave, cartoons were playing. Then I'd come back, cartoons are playing. When I come from school, cartoons are playing. When I leave, cartoons are playing. In my mind, cartoons are playing the whole day. <laughs> 10 o'clock, cartoons are finished. Now you are stuck with Desmond Dube. <laughs> Selling you the last indignity plan from clientele. <laughs> Asking stupid questions. Like, as a 10-year-old, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Are you worried about the passing of your loved ones? <laughs> Shut the fuck up and play Popeye the Sailor Man. So that's what I'm saying. You people in your 20s, you don't understand. You don't understand our struggle. And our struggle is real. Our struggle is real, bruh. Guys, come here with your pronouns. Identify. I identify. Because I was in a meeting with people in their 20s. Hey, 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 hey. Everyone is introducing themselves. 
I'm Mang Mang, I identify as I'm Stephen, I'm non binary, I'm the ego, I, I, I identify, I identify, what identity, what do I identify? And the thing is coming, the wave is coming, you like, yo, <laughs> identity, yo, <laughs> identity, <laughs> I have, I, my name is Ray Sokola, and I identify as a hot man. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, this is, okay, this is the thing I want to say to the younger people of South Africa. You have to be patient with the older people, you know what? You have to be patient because teen, you guys just fucking come up with a pronoun, then you get upset that we don't know the fucking pronoun because you didn't tell us. You know what we understand? Press conferences. If it was not in a press conference, people who are 40 and older, we don't know what the fuck you are talking about. Even apartheid ended with a press conference. <laughs> Otherwise, we would be walking around, we're not allowed to go there. No, no, it's over, it's over. <laughs> I think as a country, we, 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 we have this ability to come together sometimes, to come together, you know? And I've seen it happen. I'm not talking about rugby, I'm not talking about sporting events. I'm not talking, I'm talking about, remember, remember at, I can't say this, there was this other chicken outlet, KFC, KFC. I. They didn't give me exclusive money, man. <laughs> For me not to say KFC, you have to give me other money. <laughs> no, so, do you guys remember the KFC wedding? I mean, the proposal. Remember that? It was happening there, this guy, for those who don't know, this guy proposed to his, to his, to his girlfriend at KFC, uh, at this other chicken outlet. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and the whole country, the whole country came together because some bad people on Twitter, what they did was they started dissing this guy. You cheap bastard. Yeah, it is cheap chicken though. It is cheap. <laughs> no, it is cheap chicken. No, because Nando's is... I'm not stupid, I know where my bread is buttered, you motherfuckers. <laughs> but so what happened was, before, but what happened was this guy proposed to his girlfriend at this chicken outlet. And then the people on Twitter lost their mind. You cheap bastard. And then the whole country came together like the Avengers. <laughs> and we were like, we will make this wedding a real. People just volunteered. Hotel company, we're like, we will make, we will accommodate you guys. Car companies were like, we will drive you there. Strangers were like, I'll cater for free. It got a bit weird when Alf Bob was like, if one of you dies, we'll cover, we'll cover. We're like, our oh, Alf Bob, not now, not now. Read the room, Alf Bob. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Thank you. Vendor was very heavy. Eh? We like the government's unofficial mascot. During the Rainbow Nations, the box was there. Huh? During COVID, we were still there. During social distancing, we were there. I'm fucking tired. Sydney, we want just move. When we are winning, everyone loves us. 
Everyone is wearing a Sia Colisi jersey. People are naming their kids after us. Mambimbi van der Velt. <laughs> but when we are losing, the K word comes out. Quota. Africa. We are here to tell you that we are done. I mean, for real. We've held the country up from 1995. We are tired. Sitting We've offered more support than Fuff's fuffing jockeys. Lifted up this country higher than Elizabeth in a line out. Bringing home four. World Cups and chasing the sun twice. Yes! All right, let's be real for a minute. Sia here has theft off to France. Yeah. Oh. Hey, wird kan weer gekies. Yeah? Yeah. Chesley stepped his way out and Rossi has become a doctor now. Hey, you know what I think? You know what I think? What, my friend? I think it's time to take care of ourselves. Yes. Yeah. And perhaps, just perhaps, these guys will have something to depend on. Whoa! No, no, no. Not them. Be tired of getting free shirts. You don't have a leg to stand on. Yeah, yeah! yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh. And here's a leg to stand on. Get yourself a Nando's Cola chicken and a side for just 59 rand. 
Chicken and chips, lemon and hemp. Baba is on board. To present the award for excellence in broadcasting and earth shattering journalism is a multiple award winning media powerhouse, Devi Govinda. Devi yeah. first watched Carte Blanche when she was 15 years old in the winter of 1988. She turned to her family and the room divider and said, one day, I too shall be part of the Sunday Soul Crushing Brigade. <laughs> but Dev Zozo was not done because the prophecy fulfilled itself and she was on carte blanche for 18 South African years. Wonderful. That's enough. Um, no. Dev Zozo, Dev, 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 I'm still talking. Dev, you can talk now. Thanks very much for those beautiful words. But thank you most of all to you for looking so happy to see me because you know no one is ever happy to see me. Never, ever, ever happy, I can tell you that. It's, uh, it's, I've just gotten used to it. It is basically is exactly what it is meant to be. Now, journalism is facing serious challenges. We know that. Very short attention span. TikTok is not your primary source of information, people. <laughs> In typical South African fashion, though, our first nominee showed us that lying about your qualifications is no impediment to leadership in the media. Who needs matric, people? when you can win the award for most references to oneself in the third person. I'm very educated. Put your hands in power. I'm the main man. In the SABC, no one was better than me. He came, he saw, and he certainly did not conquer. The one time when Bantu Holomisa thought he could anchor news huh, and master the autocue. As the adage says, you give a poor man a fish and you feed him for a day. You teach him to, a f to fish, you give him, you give him a... The award for the journalist who most identifies with the tools of his trade, that award, me up to you, thank you. Bye. Thank you, Mr. You thank weren't you. there interrupting me. Touch me on my studio. You touched me. Touch and take away his arm. Touch, touch me on my touch, studio. Take away his arm from touch me. Touch me on my studio. I'll touch you on your studio. No, you don't do that. And finally, the Devi Sankri Governor Award for Best Interrogation for generating that sinking feeling for putting the heat in the seat. The winner is... Parliament uh, to, to actually digest and, and go through the documentation that is uh, going to be presented to the public. And uh, the opportunity for proper engagement is actually after the tabling of the... Clown Clown Nene's chair. Thank you. Balcony, look up, look up. There's a puppet looking down at you. Is Devi gone? That I cock myself whenever I see her, and it's very hard for me to cock myself because I have a hand in my ass. <laughs> Does anyone here work at the SABC? Because then you know what it's like. <laughs> Guys, it's hectic. It's election year. It's election year. Look around you. Look at the person on your left and right. Do it, really, look at them. That person is deciding your future. <laughs> yeah, we're all fucked. Ramaphosa, Ramaphosa, hello, uncle. You know, if you leave politics, you could start a beer. <laughs> what, what would the beer be called? Ramaphosa. <laughs> <laughs> there is Chester there. Viva Wonderful, Papa, good Viva. to see you here as well. 
give a good reason to vote ANC. Oh, ANC is a blue party. Oh, 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 God. oh my goodness. Are you one of those guys who sees those penis enlargement ads and goes, yeah, I'm phoning, I'm phoning today. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you why people vote ANC? Yeah, why? Yeah. <laughs> Have a nice day. Oh, smells like Bursasa. What's the difference between your MK and Jacob Zuma's MK? This one is the military wing of the African National Movement. That one is a fake one. Yeah, protect. Are you aware that you look like you're trying to steal the brand? Like it's not, it's not Adidas, it's Adidas. No more support. If MK wins, yeah. will you make him Shiniwam the national anthem? Uh, we'll add Mshiniwam with the stem. We'll combine it with the stem. Uh, with the stem. Or oh, Delaray, Delaray. Tondo, what? <laughs> this puppet of yours is a problem. Yeah, I know. And I think the same about Jacob Zuma. Listen, did you get that? No, you didn't. Fire pulse! Fire pulse for everyone! Fire pulse! How much can we get of Eskom? Give us some, please, Uncle! Fun the group to send us some money! We're starving! Dude! Mshilazi! You're 82, you're gonna run again? I think you may mean like the kind where you need Imodium for. They don't want Mshilazi to steal anything in the Constitutional Court, so they're having a meeting with the police. Hello, uncle. Can I? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, can you massage harder, please? Just on my neck. Just get my neck. Just get my neck. No, just my neck. Just my neck. Get my neck. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Mshilazi's your daddy. <laughs> Oh. Viva MK Viva! Viva! Viva Stealing Escom Viva! Viva! Viva Guptas Viva! Viva! Mm, mm, oh yeah. Oh, it tastes like a mm. <laughs> I'm at the DA rally. I'm looking for John Steenhaisen. I've got some questions for that bastard. I'm not sure, but I think it's the white guy that they're excited. His name's Puppet or Poppas or Popo, or I don't know. Kalala Buswas. I was just two years old. Yeah, to switch back to English because the white people were cucking themselves. I'm chasing John. He's running away from me. I'll get him eventually. John, I just got some questions. I think this is a VA muscle guy. We almost had him, but he ran away. What are your chances of winning the national election? Look, we've got the multi-party charter, Mr. Missing. Oh my gosh, no. I will get a job as a sex toy before the DA wins oh, national election. I didn't know you were interested. Okay. So Measy will start sleeping with women before the DA wins national election. From outside, it looks like black people in the DA have their own type of load shedding. Oh, no, Absolutely not a, no power. Not at all, Chester. It's excellent. Bye. Oh, yeah. Who's your DA? <laughs> Can you explain to me why you're so likable for the DA voter? It's possibly because I'm whiter than you are. That's probably right. <laughs> I'm scared how racist that might be. I would have thought by now you'd all be pooping steonations. <laughs> I'm out! Fakil is finally here! People are very excited. I think he's giving away land. Oh no, it's just t-shirts. Damn it! Fakile Mbalula Razbataz Mbax Comrade SG. How's it? I'm good than you, Chester. <laughs> I think you've been hiding in Ramaphosa's couch. <laughs> Who has benefited the most from the ANC in the last 30 years? Uh, the people who have benefited, uh, uh, yeah. I think the people who benefited most from the ANC are the people who make t-shirts. Oh, good! <laughs> See, can I have uh, your t-shirt, please? Yes, you can. No problem, no problem. Oh, yeah. No, I'm keeping this it guy... simple. I mean, I'm a communist, bro. Yeah, bro. The Lord Kenner is in the Thank you. Yeah, the ANC bus had to bring its own generator. Because it's the ANC. They only empower themselves. Why do you want the Western Cape to leave South Africa? I want the Western Cape to leave South Africa if we cannot fix it. Are you sure it's not so you can just say the K-word in peace? No. It smells no. that way. Hello. If the EFF wins, will you cancel Father Christmas? <laughs> nah, no, no one is cancelling anything. But he's stolen your vibe. He wears red, gives away free shit. Come on, that's your whole thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know that wristband that says, what would Jesus do? Yeah. Why don't you make an EFF version? What would you do? What would you do? I have it. I just left it in the car. Oh, amazing. Are oh, you like, should I cheat on my girlfriend? And like, what would you do? <laughs> Well, you went on diet and you look hot, I'm not gonna lie. 
<laughs> You're turning me on. I'm a, my juju <laughs> is strong. Was it a revolutionary diet? Madiba said to me, if you want to lead this nation, you can't do it with a tummy looking like this. Amanla, listen to that, Kwede. Listen. Yeah, yeah so, Kwede must hear so, that. Do you know what a revolutionary diet is? <laughs> no white bread, no white rice, no white sugar, everything white must fall. Is the EFF going to win in these elections? Absolutely. Uncle, I swear black coffee will change his name to flat white before uh, you guys win. <laughs> Good luck in the elections, dude. One, 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 Smells one, like one, VBS. Uh, I think Julius has more white hands in his ass than I do. Really? Yeah, you know their names. Brightling, Johnny Walker, and Louis Vuitton. Oh, man! To present the award for most blessed of all slay queens, is number one's number three, Mrs. Ngosazana Damini Zoo. When, when people saw it, they put saliva on the paper. And then they shared the song. <laughs> my name is uh, Kosasana Soma, as you've heard. And you've known me as holding a number of positions as a variety of ministers. I'm talking Minister of Home Affairs. Minister of Health, and so on and so on. <laughs> I mean, I've even ministered Jacob's private party. <laughs> there are many faces that I see here confused, so I'm thinking I'd rather explain. What is a slay queen? A slay queen is a term for a woman who is stylish, beautiful, and most importantly, glamorous. <laughs> Far from what I am. <laughs> and that's what Google says anyway, overseas. <laughs> but uh, they call them sometimes companions. But in actual fact, we have a term in South Africa that we all know. It's fab. Though it must be very much noted that uh, there's a difference between a slay queen and a side chick. Because a side chick is that woman that you meet at your father's funeral, <laughs> crying more than the whole family. <laughs> and ask me, I was one. <laughs> okay, fuck it, I'm Celeste now. We are grateful. So there are people in the crowd laughing with me, and of course, right now, they have no idea how to get home. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a tip that slay queens use all the time. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my Uber app. <laughs> it just crashed. Can you order one for me, please? <laughs> so our nominees are Kanye Mbao. I mean, obviously, she didn't start like this. She's the industry standard. She started this whole shit from ground up. You might not recognize her, maybe. I don't know which picture. Or oh, at least you see her now. But uh, now she really looks like Sorisha Naidu. We had to triple check. We had to triple check because, you know, their gold digging CVs is the same. <laughs> and of course, the second nominee is Muhale. Yeah. Even though no one can hear his fart anymore. But we still care about him. We still care about him. And for those of you who thought we were discriminating in this category of slay queens and be asking, why are they only black women? Hold your horses. We've also nominated a long line 
of white girls outside rugby training camps. <laughs> and none of them holds a candle against Marcus Eustace's side chick. That lady's pussy is 18 million red worth of properties. Imagine. 41 million in the bank and a sprawling estate at an exclusive Val de Vale, the valley. That lady's pussy's got bigger GDP than Botswana. <laughs> My sister's in Slay Queening. Take notes. Don't just go out of this situation with a Louis Vuitton bag and red bottoms only. I mean, this woman's pussy is listed on a Johannesburg stock exchange. <laughs> Kanyimba was found shaking. I mean, Kanyimba bows to this pussy. Our nominee is Benedine Odendal. And of course, this Lady Queen thing started a long time ago. Because our winner is none other than the ordinary South African through sexual transmitted citizenship. A woman in her lifetime who not only begged one, but two presidents. Grasa Marcel. That woman is the only queen with the SADC smash list. Thank you very much. Hey, Tada. South Africa, we live in uncertain times. Many of you are scared of leaving your homes for the fear of what might happen. What if I told you there was a way to live without fear? What if I told you that you could free yourself and enjoy life again? Introducing Kumelum Zulu. Sent a Zulu. A perfect solution for a South African problem. Have you ever needed something sorted when you're scared, when you're worried, when you're nervous? To Melum Zulu, for your debts, for your loan shots, for collecting. To Melum Zulu, to me, 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 to if your office is a nightmare, anything, I too me lum zulu for the slenders, for the vegans, for so many. It's my money. I have slaughtered. You are not eating. When I'm parking, indicating you take it. Now she's married with her husband, don't worry, she'll be singling a suit. You on Twitter, you on Facebook. Tumelum Zulu, 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 Tumelum Zulu,
And now for a live broadcast straight from hell, the Hele. Give it up for the creator of potholes and traffic, the man himself, putting the dick in devil. Give it up for Satan! Thank you, thank you, good evening. Ah, oh, it's good to be here. As some of you know, I am the devil. Shaitan, Satan, if you're particularly clingy, my ex. I self-identify as John. I know what you're thinking, I know. Why doesn't he age? Well, I drink the blood of one young comedian. Never a funny one. Who is KG Mukhadi? First off, South Africa, I'm really sorry. Daddy's been away for a while. I hate leaving you on your own. I just needed some me time. So I went home for a little while to recharge. Yep, yep, the Eastern Cape. Anyway, then I had some work. Well, let's call it a working holiday. Um, oh my God, the Middle East is like such a blast right now. I'm getting so many ideas for my next renovation. Both sides are doing it all for, for, for you know who. <laughs> that must be feeling orcs, Mr. Know-it-all. God, I used to do chaos. I will see you at the CCMA, motherfucker. Talk about an own goal. Anyway, uh, South Africa, you are my beloved R&D country. It's so good to be back with you. Um, I, I wasn't really worried. I mean, I, I did leave you in terrible hands. I love what the ANC has done with the place. I had a quick whip round when I got back. I love how they keep flicking the lights on and off while they fuck with the water and then dig holes in the road in the load shedding. It's such an adventure. Like you don't know what's gonna be fucked when you wake up. It's so exciting, even for people in hospital. Ooh, where's the oxygen? We have none. So the whole place is like this like this massive Survivor series, but the season never ends and there's always new challenges. It's really clever. Spoiler alert, wait until the elections are over and then I've arranged that you get a really big fucking diesel bill <laughs> given to you from Gwede Mantashe. <laughs> like, like surely you've got to know that nothing with that voice could possibly come from a human vagina. I mean, I mean, come on Limpopo, you know this shit. You know it better than anyone else. So don't just stand there gawping, cut his dick off for Mutian and strike him with lightning. It's cultural. Sorry. Hello? No, I can't talk now, I'm just doing the, huh? No, tell Kelly, tell Kelly she can do 50 years. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do no plumbing and dog shit for food. It's a, it's a plea bargain. What? A whole family of George Builders. Uh, message Adolf, he's, he's on bookings, okay? I'm so sorry, work has been hell. The hustle is real, I'm such a devil. Jesus, Marcus, will you slow down, please, and less teeth. God, he just got here, doesn't it? No, you are not entitled to see the books. You just got here. God, you Afrikaners think you are so fucking important, you barely exist anymore. <laughs> It's so cute to see a chihuahua brawl sus a loo. <laughs> Fuck, your language even sounds funny. FW, stop that. Don't, don't, don't eat that. It's dog sh May I actually eat that? Look, Afrikaners, I mean, while we're on the topic, you had five minutes of fame, okay? You're not that important. You're, you're, you're kind of historically a joke. Yuster, you robbed a few billionaires. It's not a big deal. Jacob doesn't even have a grade ace. Hundred and he wrecked a whole province with three WhatsApps. That's fucking impressive, right? So, so if you're out there and you think I only work with white capital, you have no idea how I'm really, really taking your souls. R and D. When Casper de Vries dies, I would like him as a flashlight. No? Okay. 
Steenhuizen, uh, or as I know him, banter Jesus in chinos. It's like a donut fucked an idiot. What is that? <laughs> How could a donut fuck an idiot? We don't know. He won't save you, Tristan and Julia, at your little CrossFit class, because he's too busy. He doesn't really care about you. He's free basing Gatsby's and dry humping Table Mountain. <laughs> guys, guys, I've got the best idea. Make Pearl Tuesday a DJ. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. This is awful, but it's really good. I know. Inside, you are loving it. How's everyone feeling about the elections? I mean, how exciting. Your ballots. Up to 40 options in some provinces. Good God. Do you know how fucking hard it is to provide you with 40 flavors of bullshit? I had to innovate the shit out of myself to make sure that you had no real choice. I made the EFF in a biological weapons lab as an STD. I meant you to catch it. You fuckers voted for it. I mean, come on. How brave are you? Fearless. Your presidents used to dance. Now they can DJ while they incite murder. It's fucking amazing. Then we've got that OG, the goat. The total Madiba vibe killing Epstein dwarfing Zulu on your stoop, Jacob. How do you like that? A diabetic holding on for the return of sweet Jesus. I know you think he's an old joke, but be careful. He's been rehearsing his comeback on KZN. And oh, by the way, well done Indian people in Reservoir Hills. It was actually nice to see you fuckers finally shooting back. Well done. Gandhi would be so proud. I bet he'd leave the kids alone for a night or two. Stop it, it's true. Fucking Google it, bitches. And it's not his fault. We all love children. Everyone loves a baby, don't we? Puppies, lambs, preschoolers. <laughs> I have middlemen, obviously, for that. If you're offended, grow the fuck up. I'm not your fucking woke, trans-allied vegan friend. I am sad. <laughs> Stop crying. God. South Africa, what am I trying to say? Don't listen to what the world says about you. They can grey list you, they can blacklist you, they can put you at the bottom of shit, but you are a world leader in so many ways. You, you continue to unemploy in massive numbers. Your municipalities are basically potholes with people. The only good people you have left would rather run the comrades than run the country. And you are working with so little and you achieve so much chaos. You are innovators. Jesus, you make me proud. I'm actually emotional. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's the extra hot plant-based ball moving through. Sorry, I, I thought <laughs> that's what it is. There's the product placement, Nando's. Anyway, I can't stay, I'm going on a shooting trip. Hmm? No, 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 not the bush, American high schools. Love you, later. And now for a multi-talented Tsonga artist. Tsonga is, of course, an ancient Bantu word meaning colorblind. It is an obsession with a certain wrestler. Make some noise, for sure, Majors. South Africa, how are you guys doing? I'm very excited to be here. I'm actually so, so, so excited. Oh, happy 30th to all of us as a country. The Green Mamba. Foreign Nationals Immeasurable Impact Award is named after the South African passport. If you have one, you know that these are called Green Mambas. For this document, people have traveled long distances, crossing rivers um, and deserts, which I understand because that's way better than standing at home affairs. <laughs> As the name suggests, we uh, made this award so that we can celebrate foreign nationals that um, have made an immense contribution on our country. Uh, many of you know that I myself am a strong ambassador of um, treating our neighbors well. Partly because uh, being from Limpopo, <laughs> no, but also because um, I do think we've taken a lot from other countries. Uh, the word nyaupe. <laughs> That's a Swahili word. And we use that a lot. <laughs> the word, not, not, sir. <laughs> Tibo touches accent. <laughs> he got that from somewhere. <laughs> Look. <laughs> the point.
point, the point here is that we've benefited a lot as a country, you know, from the various contributions of foreign nationals and my beloved South Africans, who I love so much and who I would never say anything bad about, um, <laughs> if I could just, in Swahili, say a warm welcome to some of the other Africans who are here and who may be watching. Msiwasikilize hawa watu. Wa South Africa ni wajinga sana wajui chochote wewe nakwambia. Washenzi m South Africa hajawahi kusafiri mshenzi kabisa. Mtu unamwambia huku unamwambia yeye yeah, anasema chicken and beer. <laughs> ni kitu gani hicho? Pumbavu sana usiwasikilize wajui chochote wa Sauziani. Wakwambia wewe waambie pumbavu wewe. Hujui chochote. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited to announce the fourth runner-up for the Green Mamba Award, Rodovan Kreicha! <laughs> I want to give him credit for giving white South Africans in Bedford View a taste of what it might be like living in Jukulin in Soshangu. In third place, we have Atul Gupta and his brothers. <laughs> we asked for a finance minister. They financed our ministers. But <laughs> is, that, is that really something to send someone to jail? I mean, in second place for the Green Mamba Award, we have Bushiri. <laughs> Forget turning water into wine. That man turned people's children's school fees into a private jet for himself. <laughs> into a Maserati SUV for his six-year-old daughter. <laughs> but even his achievements could not top the achievements of the winner of tonight's Green Mamba Award. So ladies and gentlemen, for his continuing and lasting contribution, the Green Mamba Award for foreign nationals who have made an immeasurable impact on our country. I leave you with Jan van Rive! Hartelijk dank voor deze onderscheiding. Uh, maar ik kan hem niet aanvaarden. Oh, excuseer me. Kerata Holiboha Watubambang Awadena. Emba. Haki Bad. Owane na nitiki. Niks Awatlo Hotlamo South Africa. Niks Awatlo Hodulamo. Next I want to live on a Kimahua Aga Guspanning. I'm to me as more. Got contract in Yanifela. It's not. Cassina Kisawa, I can go in Niki Baiza Guspanning. Oh, but Bangwa did you are I win our transfer. Oh, Cassina Kisawa, if you tell more Banahana Hui, little Polia Street. Or as a loan, a Kikima Oton Tota loan. Livia Macaller, the guy in Wabo. Never was a girl about Bana Lukos. Wabo. The guy in Wabo. Eh, fifteen ten. Honali Luputo Case Lelewe. Gilitona Lawana, Lily Strong. Francisco de Almeida. Avidamo Bamguazi de Asha. Maputo Case, I never reclaim South Africa. Honali Goods. Ritofela Mozambique da, abo. So kata ba kifita mo kata ba abo. Mara kinali la ki kasa vaiva abo. Kere wow, ekpe nei dud abo. Dinai neki makit. Kere ere kiti kaita spansa kaki vai abo. Kas kas 1662 mudimu anche ba kiti thola promotion kilo spana go head office. 
Indonesia, Batavia. I think import export, masala, So I see now go buy South Africa, So I can see why Mabu and Rataso. Why Mabu and Rataso? Banke Sangari is superstar. Banke Sangari is staring Savona. Kin Tata won. Bariki father from South Africa. I see now Muto. Now Muto I go Holland. If it's a Mongari branch manager, your branch is I exist before Kitty. Kapula Spaza Shop Saga. Babo, sa supplier di ke pete di fitang, le meti, le moroko, le le ujwala, bo. Ke ke foko le day day, ke spaza. You know, one grain of rice, ke spaza fe la, bo. That's why maburu di tabata wona akit di keni. Asin tu ya ka Hofmeier, Buta, Afriform, Stellen, Bosch, Momberg, akit akit bati bi, bo. Lele out here, Barriking, Bamu Guazi, the Parliament, Gima. Fair word, fair word, fair word. Fair word. Oh, Larry, fair word. I see Borosim Puitas. Fair word. Why? Twenty Banter Hof, so. Fair word. Runari, fair word. A flow, I'm not there. Maramabua and Taira, we think Kim to able to go and take. Because the Sahu Pula got chaleting a one. Babia Sifasarosak. More chaleting. Mara Asena. Kimotomo, my own Munte, Barinaki Scob. Little Miraka, I was like, one Naka and Oscob, the Zirna, the Lelek, then so as my mother say. Ah, yeah, 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 Kiki. Kiki. Kaiki, os, os, na kani for you, my bro. Kaiki, he didn't just explain to you guys why we exist. The colors, you see, they came there in Dromedaris in 16 whatever he told you. He didn't see a black person ever in his entire life. And then, the you know, first black person he see is a naked cosa woman walking on the beach looking like Nicki Minaj. What do you think is gonna happen? Kai ki na gani manita fa yo masa flies vasta an jai na wani krang fa ni buti sa ek ek stand kang gaka i peri kau rif sati ya wa us ura jai na fa. Dama dama ni kita hati wait. Awe yan pan ribe. Ne 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 na gani oh 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 vasta kla no oh na gani manita fa yello. Manita, me, I was, I was chilling on my couch. Then I see this thing here. Democracy, the roast of South Africa. Kana, you guys always want to marginalize colored people. <laughs> you always never base you on. They always want to keep stuff away from us. <laughs> then I must say, never must stick out here and base you guys, Keiki. So, <laughs> Keiki, I'm here. Take me for a water here. Don't come take us for nuatas here. Isn't it, Auntie? As far. If it wasn't for colored people, no, then we wouldn't have even. The rugby people waste. Nah, we the people that make the nation cuck. If it wasn't for the colors in the team, Boma Chester Williams, Jamie Peterson, Jordan Colby, Cody Aronson, Damien Williams, sir. I'm a nita nagani for yella. Yeah, if we, if it wasn't for color people, we wouldn't even won the African Nations Cup. Yeah, who scored the two goals? Mark Williams, ah, the nation builder. Don't ah yeah. I bet every second most South Africa is in a colored gun. Yeah, down the road from here, all those where my people is from, there's two from there. Lisa Lowry and Tenzi Kutsia from because we rare. We rech. Even Sia Colise know that the colored people is the future. That's why he got married to Rachel Masterfuls. He didn't know. Scrum, crouch. Let's engage. Bring out the number nine. Os. 
Susta non si sters kangaka. Even Matiba wouldn't have been a proper president if it wasn't a colored brother that, that employed him. What does this Zulu? He's a colored guy, no? You have to have the mix. I face you, black people, white people, Indian people, get the other race and have the mixed blood because the pure blood fucked the world up. <laughs> pure blood fucked the world, I face you. Nefertiti, Idi Amin, Hitler, pure blood. That's why I'm here tonight, because you can't marginalize us. The mixed blood is the future. Face me anybody that won a Grammy plus the best dressed at the Met in one year. Mixed blood, you have to clap for that, man. Say the yellow thing that's worth us. Effort set, we're taking over here. Check, come marginalize us. We didn't have a bloody finance minister that was serving two terms and another finance minister that was for a weekend. <laughs> You were there. Manita for yalla. Kiki, now we're gonna be, cause Kangaka, Kiki, where's that voice of God person? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Mr. Voice of God. Mr. Voice of God? Yes. Bona. H Hello. We are going to make a, a new award now. You, you're making me uncomfortable? You're speaking a language I don't understand. Nah, I'm speaking English, Mr. God. It's the accent that you don't understand. Here for check. <laughs> check. <laughs> Chaisana me you, master place. <laughs> Plus, I got backup here from extension six, so Clavas is in the audience. Mm. Don't take me for a noata. I'll... Here's the thing. Yes. We, because, because the college has always been marginalized, Mr. Voice of God, yes. we have to have a new award for the colored people. Yes. Right. Yes. So announce it. And, and now the award for colored people. Yo, wait, wait, you can't say that. You can't say colored people because it's going to confuse the people that's going to watch us on YouTube. You have to. Okay. You, you, just, you just told me to say colored people. You. No, I said the award must be for colored people. I didn't say you must name the award for colored people. Fucking listen, man. You. Because we have a rainbow nation, and it's 30 years of democracy, and it's a rainbow. Because color is an old term, it's now colorful, we make the circle bigger. Aware, Master Place. Now, you have to say the award for the most colorful, the award for the most rainbow person in the rainbow nation. Say that, Mr. God. And now, for the award for the most colorful rainbow person in the Rainbow Nation. Full Go. stop. Yes. The award, ladies and gentlemen, who do you think is going to be for the most colorful person in the Rainbow Nation for the Rainbow Award goes to... Happy Sindani! One of the Ja, Lavinia, voordat jij weet wie oor geneem, met die goeie ouda. Kijk daar, Karel, ons het gaste. Oeh, kom ons skakel oor simulkast toe. Simulkast, recht. Fok, 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 fok. Daar is het, daar is het, daar is het. That's better. Yeah. Otherwise, only 44 people would have stayed tuned. <laughs> Look at all these visitors. Oh, please excuse me. I, I wasn't expecting anyone. Um, Axie, if, if I were you, I would watch my cell phone, eh? <laughs> No. What's 
said Matthias? No! What are you saying, Matthias? No! No, I can't. Lazy. Okay, that's you, not me. Matthias, you can't say that about black people. (laughs) (laughs) Meow, meow. What? No, uh, okay, yes, I agree, Matthias. The neighborhood has gone to the dogs. Meow. Okay, no, I don't know if I missed the dog pass. That's a bit much. Oh, cool. Don't be so rude. It, it's really lovely to see all of these new faces. Nieuwe Bloemenland really is a, 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 a melting pot of different cultures, of, of all sorts of different elves and, and, and dwarves and fairies, witches, Zulu witches. Meow, meow. Yes, yes, do not forget the Zimbos. Well, who else is going to drive the Ubers? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Liva Axi, I, I really do not like all of this Oriental Plaza, Special Spaza, RDP, BEE, LGBTQI plus 11 languages, God. Rainbow Cock. I miss the good old days where you had a Pora shop for fruit and veg <laughs> and a Chara restaurant where I could buy my favorite snack. What was it called again? Uh, meow, meow. Yes, a three hookie cookie cookie cookie. Oh, <laughs> it's called a samosa, Carl. You can't say racist things like that. Yamarilla, his, his transformation is still buffering. Well, speaking of transformation and transitioning, look who's on his way over there. Get him off your feet, you dance! <laughs> Excuse me, so you voted for somebody who represents you? Uh-huh. So does that mean you voted for a... Don't do <gasps> it, Carl. What? It, it starts with M and rhymes with coffee. Fokker! Meow, meow! Yes, Moffy. No, Carl! What? I thought that was your new pronoun. Meow, meow! It's not a face, Matthias! I don't like hanging out with you, Carl. Don't be so sensitive, man. You're breaking his poor little queer heart, There is nothing wrong with my heart. But, 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 Matthias is the one who said it. Why can he say it, but I can't say it? Meow, meow. He, he's saying it again. Matthias. Meow, meow, meow. I never said that. I would never say that. I, I'm not putting on an act. All of my best friends are... Oh, black people and, 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 and some of my other friends are... <laughs> what, Dexie? You brought I've heard you saying things about suspicious Bravo males on the Neighborhood Watch WhatsApp group. You shut your promiscuous old mouth. Meow, meow, meow. Matthias, it doesn't matter that it was a black cat who said it. Meow, meow. Matthias, you can go to jail for saying the K-word. Matthias, you racist puss. Meow, meow. No, 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 you saying it. You're the racist. Matthias, I'll drop you off in the township if you're not careful. (laughs) Ach, Nia. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes, the elections. Bloomy, who did you vote for? Oh, my vote is my secret, Dexie, but I can't say there are many, many options. Yeah. There's a magical cupcake. There's a guy in red pajamas with fancy shoes. Yeah. There's also an insecure white guy who's learning to speak Kosa <laughs> with a matric. No, no. No, he's dead now, but he's still on the poster. I do like cupcakes. Mm. 
But this is so silly, Hexie. You are a witch. Why don't you just use magic to fix Nieuwe Blommelang? Yeah, yeah. I agree with Matthias. Magic is a very strong word for what Hexie does. I will admit that my magic hasn't exactly been magicking. <laughs> anyway, Bloomy, I've already casted my vote. Look, they gave me a free t-shirt. Leave a fucking see! You are such a fucking slut for a free t-shirt. <laughs> what the fuck can I do with you? Can I make a mistake? Yes, you dumb bitch. <laughs> This is why voting doesn't make sense. Because Blommy is voting for the hippie glitter rainbow unisex bathroom guys. Suck it, bitches. You went and voted for the same guys who turned Blommeland into a squatter camp. Oh, yeah. 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 Excuse me? Did, did you just call me a half caste? Yeah. Well, he does have a point. Your mom did fuck a man. Like a human man. Think about yes, how gross yes, that okay, is. Yes, okay, but my dad might be a human, but at least I know who he is. Your dad is one of three straight cats walking on by his to the air. You know what, Dexy? I'm tired of your cock and your cheap cock, Taka. Fuck you. He's your realist. Carlo, your boy. How do you die? Hey, Hexi, here's your cat. You might have noticed Andy in the corner. In the interest of inclusivity, our proud sponsors have gotten us a sign language interpreter to ensure that no one is missing out on the fun of the roast. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Na zentela, eh? Ya rasta. Na zentela rasta. No invite, nothing. Fake Adidas tracksuit. Okay. The hairstyle, see, 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 see. Hehehe. Ni se carnival seat. Se carnival seat la, gogo bla. Gogo bla. Gol rive, my sipa. Okay. Okay, no invite, fuck all. That's it, you fuck on post guys. There's white people here. And so many Indians, dog. <laughs> so this kick was free, eh? Or half price, all right. Colored people. Oh, you're yeah, colored. I love you, daddy. You, you, you. It's you, your foreign horn. It's nice, eh? There's no permit. There's no permit. Where's the permit? Where's the permit? There's black people. Beggar. Fucking I'm a specs, you're a whoor. Then this is into land and telling us, then tell. Huh? No permit. All right. Hey, celebrity, hey, hey. We're going to have awards. And you're not gonna invite us as the SAPS nya nya. <laughs> We're gonna invite ourselves. In fact, fuck that. Let me let, let me just tell you right now. We're gonna have the, the biggest award of the night. The manga manga business. <laughs> Condensed milk award. <laughs> and you're asking me why con why manga manga? <laughs> Manga manga, because these bastards in this award, they lie, they lie. <laughs> they, 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 they lie. And hey, why Kajay Shekis? Because simple. You know Kajay Shekis will look at you <laughs> and lie, and lie. Why condensed milk? Oh, you wanna know why condensed milk? Oh, okay. I used to love something called condensed, condensed milk. When you go to corruption, you don't know how far have you gone in it. I will start with a finger. At a certain given time, you realize that finger doesn't have. You go to a teaspoon, and then you go to a spoon. Finally, you go to a tin itself with the mouth. And then you pour water, thinking that water will help you. That makes your mother say, but this is no more condensed. That's what corruption does. It never tells you that you have crossed the line.
Ducky, ducky, ducky winner. Okay, let's go to our first nominee. I'm here to present the, the Manga Manga Gejei Shikisa Condensed Milk Award. First guy that is a nominee here. What a fool. What a fool. This bastard faked his own death in prison. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Call his girlfriend and say, baby, baby, go to the pushari and, and buy meat and put in the coffin. Aha. And, and then the girlfriend, who's a fucking dog? And <laughs> looks like you, ne? The weave is here. Huh? This bitch got, went and got 1,800 rand of vors, 950 rand of chops. And 1,450 rand of brisket. Two, yama 12,5, where we saw maize meal, and 17 yama nandos. Wafa in the box. <laughs> so when you went to, to Bloemfontein and they said, oh, there's no meat, there's no meat, aha, aha, your meat was six feet under. <laughs> and then you went to shopping, a Santin. What a fool. What a fool to get. Asparagus and orange juice. Imagine. Amanga, Amanga. <laughs> and then he went to Tanzania. Lenjale. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to you, his Tom Mutipe. Or Chicken Kwane, to you. <laughs> to the white people, <laughs> he's William Kelly. <laughs> but to us, he's fucking Tabo Pesta. <laughs> look at the hairline, look at the hairline. What a fool. Okay, next. Manga manga. Manga manga. Captain, my captain. <laughs> South Africa. How's the cronyen? How's the cronyen was the second most famous person after Mandela. And Ma we know Mandela was a liar. Oh, we know, we know. Mandela, Mandela, like, ah, oh. I'll give you free education. We're still paying, we're still paying, we're still paying. I'll give you the land, the land. I'll give you everything you need. And then he goes home to Krasha, like, hey, Krasha, ha, <laughs> I lied to them. Oh, Krasha, the Nick and the Lale. How crash uh, let me hoy one and sleep. <laughs> this bastard stood in front of cameras and said, the devil made me do it. <laughs> we are near your foreign want. The Indians made you do it, Indians. In fact, I think the Kuptas made this bastard do it. The second nominee, fucking Hansi Kronier. I was um, very naughty. Mr. Commissioner, may we ask on that basis that Mr. Cronier now be provisionally excused? He's crying. For what? White people, white people. <laughs> the next nominee, oh, no, manga, 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 manga. Kele Shegi a Condensed Milk Award. Flop, Kele. Super flop. This one was a fat lion. Fat lion, hey, 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 hey. and then and then he lost weight like this. VPS founder, VPS finisher, Muscat. Hey, hey, I will kill for Kesha I will kill for him. Soon, illegal cigarette, economical fighter. This motherfucker choo choo, this one. Uh, I'm prepared to pay the highest price on earth in defense of Zuma. If Zuma is going to continue to stay in office, he's leaving us with no option but to engage in a practical steps to remove him. I think I'm too bull. I think I'm too bull. I fucking muscant. I think this award of Manga Manga need to have more people, like the Guptas. We need to have Guptas as the Manga Manga people here. We need to have Guptas. Like there is this, this and, and Chanchi, and Chanchi. Remember Chanchi? <laughs> Chanchi stood 
next to Barack Obama. <laughs> lying, lying, lying. I don't know, was it a funeral or a memorial service? What was it? Oh, you can talk when. <laughs> this person stood next to Barack Obama and look. And our deaf cousins were like. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. I don't know what these signs mean, but I know what Obama said. I'd like to send a special shout out to Kelly Kumalo. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm not saying anything wrong about Kelly Kumalo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I still need my life. I know people that they fucked with her and they are not here. I need my life. So to Kelly Kumalo, yeah, 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 yeah. Skumba, yeah, yeah. Kelly Kumal, yeah, 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 yeah. I know people that have dealt with Kelly Kumal. You know them, no? <laughs> have you seen them in the past four years? <laughs> Aha! Why do you want me to say, stand here and say, hey, Kelly Kumalo, and they were still like, yeah, 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 chance. Right, Milanyantana, bye bye. <laughs> Moving on, the winner of this award of Manga Manga Keshe Shegi Condensed Milk Award. This guy has defined heaven and hell, life and death, discovery points, pick and pay. You go to Nando's, they give him a quarter chicken for free. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Pastor Likau. Yes, Pastor Likau couldn't be here to accept his award. So, ladies and gentlemen, one of the guys just woke him up right now at Avalon Cemetery to come receive the award on behalf of Pastor Likao. Please welcome on stage one of the disciples. of all white South Africans with a very important no. announcement. Yeah, um, um, it came under our attention that we owe some previously disadvantaged people <laughs> no. an apology. <laughs> what? Again? Why? No, we're starting over uh, as a country. That, that, that's why we're here. Didn't we start over 30 years ago? N no, no. That was because you guys fucked up and now, For now it's their... Oh, now it's time for them to apologize no, for this cock. You're no, welcome. No, uh, no, no. Are they? No, not really. No. Oh. Well, how's it, blacks? Don't say that. Then, then what, what must can I say? say? Since 94, they've been black people. Oh, yeah. They're people now. People. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's okay. I accept your apology. <laughs> No, well, black people don't have anything to apologize for. Yeah. Don't apologize for the rent. No, that's probably still just apartheid. Don't apologize for corruption's hand. Or the quick degradation of this one's fine nation. Or the rampant escalation of crime. Yanfan, no, no. That's not woke, my friend. 
Black people, they're not responsible for crime. If you speak to any black person, they'll tell you real black people don't do crime. Cousins. They're cousins. They've got lots of cousins. Fucking, Fucking cousins. cousins. With violence looting and their house And their cousins have cousins. Cousins of cousins. And those cousins love you and me. A lot of okay, that, that, that actually makes sense. That makes sense. So it's the cousins who owe the apology to these black people. No, black no. People. Oh, my God. Look, I feel like we're getting off track here. Let's just stick to what is on the auto queue. Okay, we, we, guys, 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 we are here because we owe them an apology. <laughs> we? Yeah. For the how many time? For, for, for the first time. Say what? <laughs> Didn't we apologize? No. No, but I remember there was that one. No. Yeah, but if he the clerk was there. He any... didn't. Okay, but, but surely 1994 must count as... As an election. It counts as an election. Wait, wait, wait. I think she's right. I think we apologize for not apologizing, but we didn't ap apologize. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay so... So we never apologized. We never apologized. Oh. Whoopsie daisy. Yes, like crazy. We never apologized. All this time, 30 years will fly by when you're fly fishing blissful in nice now. All the time. I thought blacks playing rugby meant everything's lovely, but now I realize we just, just carry on, on when all along we, we never, never apologized. apologized. This is a, a revelation, Karen. Yes. I, I feel so, so. Is this what woke feels like? Yes, my friend. We're white woke. I white just woke. want to shake every white person. I want to scream it from every mountain top. Everybody in this country and in London, London and Brisbane, they need to know. <laughs> but I love Karakata! That's not an apology. I can pronounce Pulaka. It's still not an apology. It's not an apology. It's not an apology. It is so easy, you'll see. We've tried everything else, but admit to ourselves, we never apologize. But the game went, I omitted it. That's not, not an, an apology. apology. I never personally benefited. That's it's not, not an apology. apology. No shares in my business. It's not, not an, an apology. It'll be fixed right away. Somebody phoned the DA. And it's admitted it today. We never apologized. La, 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 la. We never apologized. La, 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 la. La 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 We never apologized La 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 We never apologized Everything will be fixed when we just admit We never apologized Tell your friends it's okay I'll come back from Australia We never apologized I must say, it sounds like they're accepting our apology. They it's what us. black people do best. <laughs> no, but seriously, seriously, we're really, really sorry. That you feel that way. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Lack of a, I, Lack of a, I, I a, give up. I, no, fuck I this. Really, My goodness, my goodness, they still didn't fucking apologize, did they? Hello, you guys. Hello, ladies. How's it going? What is your name? Sadia. Sadia, you've never had a puppet right this close, have you? It's weird. Smell me. I smell like rama puppets. Guys, they didn't apologize. Are there any white people here today? Go, oh. 
Yo, we're gonna do it now. Watch this. Sadia, watch this. Sadia, right? Sadia, watch this. White people, we're gonna apologize. On three, we're gonna apologize for apartheid. We're gonna say we are sorry for apartheid. Remember, there's freaking millions of people of color watching you, so don't fuck it up. <laughs> White people on three. One, two, three. We are sorry about apartheid. Did you see that? <laughs> Fuck all happened! <laughs> it changed nothing! <laughs> Guys, it is the end of the show. Sadia, do you know what happens the day after a South African elections? Stage 12, bitches! <laughs> Malala, you gotta go! Go, we're paying for this fucking venue by the hour. You need to leave now. Go, or we're gonna have to expropriate it. Just leave. Run, Sardia, the show's over. I'm not kidding, just go. Just leave. Run while you still can. Send the Zulu to Melum Zulu, to Melum Zulu, to Melum Zulu. Send the Zulu to Melum Zulu, to Melum Zulu, to Melum Zulu. Send the Zulu to Melum Zulu, to Melum Zulu. To Melum Zulu, send the Zulu. To Mela, to Mela, to Mela, to Mela, to Mela, to Mela, to Melum Zulu. To Mela, to Mela, to Mela, to Mela, to Mela, to Mela, to Melum Zulu. To Melum Zulu, to Melum Zulu, to Melum Zulu, send the Zulu. To Mela, to Mela, to Mela, to Mela, to Mela, to Mela, to Melum Zulu.